hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET Core MVC application how to add a sorting functionality ascending and descending order to a table column header to a MVC index method now before refresh this browser page if you notice the employee the headers of the table they don't have any href links now let's reload the browser and here we got the new output notice the employee name got the href link when I click that one see see we are sorting the table data with the employee name column that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous part 1 and part 2 videos, I have showed in part 1 video how to create the crude functionality creating, reading and updating the deletes from the employee table. In the second video, I have showed how to implement the search functionality. If you notice here in the search box, if I type var U and button and I click search see here we got the button details now in this video I will show you I want to add I want to implement the sorting functionality of the particular column for this video tutorial I am taking the employee name column for the sorting functionality ascending and descending order in ASP.NET Core MVC entity framework so let's write the coding part and this is the project we have seen the output on the browser if you missed my previous part 1 and part 2 videos at the end of this video tutorial you will get those tutorial links now let's add the sorting functionality to this table column for the EMP name which is the employee name column so this is index.cshtml page switch to the controller in the action result index method in the HTTP get method if you notice here I have written the small code to search functionality let's add the another parameter for sorting EMP then I'm adding view data view data employee name is equals to string dot is null or empty method is null or empty method it checks whether the given string is null or empty and that given string we are getting from this sorting EMP object and I am adding here the column name EMP name so here's the question mark here. Colon. It's empty string. Notice here the query to fetch the records from this employee tables. Below that, now let's write the switch case. Switch. In the method, in the switch method, I'm adding the sorting EMP. Now let's add the case. Case between double quotes. EMP name, colon. The first condition EMP query is equals to EMP query dot order by method the order by method takes a link expression x dot the column name is the mp name semicolon then give the break for the case statement the default 
EMP query is equals to EMP query dot order by descending order by descending method let's add the lambda expression dot EMP name semicolon then give the break that's it we have written the code the sorting the particular EMP name column in this HTTP get index method now let's call this view data this view data employee name to the index view method, view page in the table table header I'm adding a here instead of href I'm adding ASP action method name is the index method and ASP route in this route I am adding the route we are getting from this sorting EMP copy this one in this property I am adding the view data employee name let's copy that one and paste here add symbol we need to add add symbol let's close the A now between this A tag I'm adding this header employee name that's it we have done the complete coding part to sorting the particular column in a table in ASP.NET Core MVC application let's save this file we'll check the final output now before refresh this browser page if you notice the employee the headers of the table they don't have any href links now let's reload the browser and here we got the new output notice the employee name got the href link when I click that one see see we are sorting the table data with the employee name column that's it